Hey, it's me Pepijn. In this video, we are going to show you how you can live stream into Teams using a drone and really woe your coworkers. Are you curious about how you can do this? Stick around. I will press play for you right now. Well, I'm glad the beavers are growing so wonderfully this year. Quality makes me very happy. Oh, absolutely, man. I love those flowers. They look fine. And by the way, I didn't hear about the latest cuttings that I sent to you. I'm assuming you are happy with them. Um, actually, it's just that, um, yeah, you know, uh, you're in such a good mood today. So I didn't, uh, yeah, you know, um, want to ruin it. Uh-oh. That doesn't look like satisfaction to me. The cuttings, they don't look right when they arrived. I had to check if there was anything wrong with them. Well, that sounds strange to me. I'm pretty sure I sent some uh, quite uniform and good profile. Would you please explain to me? I'm going to get back to you on that. Sounds good. Let me know when you got something for me. For now I have to go. Somebody's picking up my cookie. Okay, Jeroen, how can we help Edwin with this? Hey, I know what we can do. We can ask Workplace Buddy to help us out. Hmm, I don't know how they can help us with that. So you guys are the workplace buddy crew? Absolutely, sir. We're at your service. What? How did you guys get here so quick? That's great, customer service. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, maybe you could hire workplace buddy. So we need to show Edwin the working of our cutting machines so he can send us better cuttings next time. Don't fret you guys, I'm taking over this operation. So, our friends at Florences need our help to show their colleague Edwin an issue with their cuttings machine. Luckily, here at Workplace Buddy, we are experts at explaining things visually. But this all needs to happen live and in Microsoft Teams, and the machine that needs to be shown is really big. But even though this might all seem really complicated, there is actually a really cool way we can help Florences with their issue. And all we need is a computer, a phone, and this awesome DJI drone. We are using the DJI Mini 2, but this method will work with any drone from the DJI lineup. And if you watch this whole video, you can learn how you can do it as well. And use this technique to stream drone footage live through Microsoft Teams and impress everyone in your Teams meeting. This video is not sponsored by DJI, by the way. So let's just get right into it. And don't worry, even though this video might get really complicated, I will be there for you the whole way to help you cut through this like a hot knife through butter. And while you're here, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more informative tips like this? we are going to need some software. The first one being the DJI Fly app. It's very likely that if you have a DJI drone and you've already flown it at least once, you already have this app installed on your phone. But if you don't, you can easily download it from the App Store if you're on an iOS device or straight from the DJI website if you're using an Android phone. Next up in our software list, we are going to download Mona Server. Mona Server is a program that allows you to create an RTMP link connection between your phone and your computer. But I'll tell you more about how that works exactly later in this video. For now, you can just download Mona Server from its GitHub page. Simply scroll down the page and make sure to use one of these download links right here. If you're not sure which one to install for your computer, you can type about in your Windows search bar and press enter. If next to system type, it says 64-bit operating system, you should download the 64-bit version. If it says 32-bit operating system, you should download the 32-bit version. Now the last software we need is VLC Media Player. 
we are going to use this as a sort of middleman that will receive the drone footage so that we can stream it right into Microsoft Teams. You can download it straight from the VLC website. You got all that? Great. Now let's put all this software together and start your stream. Just make sure your phone and your laptop are using the same internet connection. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get your local IP address from your computer. To find your local IP address, we're going to open the Windows command prompt by pressing the Windows button plus R and then typing CMD in this window right here. Now type ipconfig in the command prompt and a whole bunch of confusing information will be thrown at you. But don't worry, all we need is this line right here labeled IPv4 address. We need this to tell your drone which computer to stream to. So just go ahead and copy this and paste it in a text editor. We will need this later in the video. Now that you have your local IP address saved here, we need to turn it into an RTMP link. This sounds complicated, but I promise you, it's actually super easy. RTMP stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol, and it's a communication protocol that allows for high-quality video streaming through your internet connection. Let's take a look at how we can create a link that works using this protocol. First, we need to type RTMP colon slash slash in front of your local IP address. Now we are going to add a colon behind your local IP address and type in the port. A port is a logical endpoint for your network connection, or simply put, a number that shows where to transfer information to through your internet connection. Mona server uses the port 1935, so let's add that. Now add one more slash at the end and you are done creating your RTMP link. Now that you have your RTMP link, let's start up Mona server. Extract the zip file you downloaded and open the new folder. Now double click this file here called Mona server and a new window should appear. Your computer is now hosting an RTMP video session that you can connect to with your drone. Just make sure not to close this window because that will end this video session, meaning that there is nothing to connect to anymore. Now let's open up the DJI Fly app. Start your drone and make sure your phone is connected to your DJI controller. Now in the app, you can press go fly. Now click on the menu button in the upper right of the screen and open the transmission tab. Here click on live streaming platforms and select RTMP. Now you get a menu with three options. The first one is RTMP address. Here we type in the RTMP link we just created. The next one is resolution. Select 1080p if you have a fast internet connection and 720p if you have a slower internet connection. You might have a lower quality stream if you select 720p, but the most important thing is that it works smoothly. Now you can choose the bitrate. The same principle applies here. If you have a good internet connection, select 5 MB per second. If you have a slower internet connection, you might want to choose 3 MB per second. After that, just press start and look back at your computer. If you see some purple text appear in the Mona server window, it means that you did it right and your drone is now connected to your computer. Awesome, but we can't see anything. Let's fix that and open up VLC Media Player. Now in VLC Media Player, at the top left of your screen, click on Media and select Open Network Stream. Now paste your RTMP link in this field right here and click play at the bottom of this window. And if you followed all the steps correctly, you will now see live feedback straight from your drone. How awesome is that? You can now open Microsoft Teams and use the share window option to show everyone in your meeting the live feedback from your drone. Now that you are by far the coolest person in your Teams meeting, you should consider subscribing for more cool tips like these. Or check out our Microsoft Teams app called Workplace Buddy, where we can teach you even more awesome stuff about everything Microsoft 365 related in an easy and comprehensive way. I've been Pepijn from Workplace Buddy, and I'll be seeing you soon in the next video. And I hope you have an alpaca-tastic day. But before you click away, let's take a look at how our friends at Florenzas are doing. Alright, 
So you can see, the cuttings are different from the specification. Please send me this kind of cuttings next time. Perfect. Wow, I must say I'm impressed with the presentation here. The live footage, the concise words and everything. Really well done, guys. Wow, what a great job Edwin did. I love flowers. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs>